There's lots of places online to get free fonts, but the problem is how do you actually install it? If you're not computer savvy, this can be a problem. So I'm just going to type in the word deaf font, and this is a free font website. So we're just going to grab a font here that I may want to use. So I always look over here on the right and I look for stuff that's free for commercial use. So it says 100% free. I like this one here, Masker Area, and it says download. So I'm just going to download it. So it's going to give you a zip file. So you want to save it on your computer. I've got a fonts file set up. Okay, so this one is C fonts. So I'm going to do masker area. I'm just going to hit save. And that's just going to save now to that folder. So now I'm just going to open up the containing folder. And we can see here I've got my whole folder of all my different fonts. When I double click on masker area, it's just going to open up the actual fonts. So the true type font, if you have a choice to use between open type and true, true type, you probably want to use open type. It's just a little more robust. Uh, there's nothing wrong with either one though. When I double click on it, it will open up the actual window and then I just click install. That's it. And then it gives me a little window that will pop open. It, it just did it in the other monitor that just said, you know, your fonts installed. That's all there is to it. So now when I go into anything like a Word document or Paint or PowerPoint or anything, that masker area will be available as a font. So here, for example, I'm inside Word. I'm just going to click on the little fonts option. And I've got all these different fonts I can use. And when I scroll on down to the M's, I can see there's my masker area font. It's just sitting in there already to use. So I can say, you know, I can use that font now. That's a nice looking font. It's a nice marker font. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Quick tip there for you on how to install a font. Pretty easy to do. Just double click on that zip folder and then it will instantly install and be available for use in other programs.